good morning children welcome to our online class in our previous class we have discussed the chapter on propositional logic today we will be discussing about the propositional definitions or terminologies so in our previous lesson we have discussed about the different types of connectives so different connectives which we were we had discussed were, was negation conjunction disjunction conditional if then bioconditional if and only if and today we will be discussing about the terminology so the different terminologies today we will be discussing about well formed formula what is well formed formula wff tautology contradictions contingency satisfiable and unsatisfiable premise uh, syllogism ten rule modus ponens converse inverse consistent statement and contra positive statement so what is this well formed formula so well formed formula is an expression of the boolean statement made up of elementary statement and symbols so when we use the elementary statement and statement uh, symbols in a boolean statement then it is termed as wff that is well formed formula so it has different properties all smaller statements are wff all the statements when we assigned the variables to the statement that is the and we join it with the help of this connectives we, it becomes the well formed formula if p is wff then p dash is wff so reverse of p is also wff if p and q are wff then these four symbols are there the negation we have already discussed the conjunction the disjunction the implications and equivalence these four symbols are used in order to make the w ff so and other than this there is they, they are not termed as w f f so this is what is called w f f now the second term which we will discuss discuss is this tautology what do you mean by tautology a proposition that is always true the tautology has only true values in its truth table so in my previous class i have drawn some of the truth table for uh, no, uh, not and or different um, connectives so when you are drawing the truth table if all the terms comes as true then it is called tautology tautology okay so contradiction means opposite to this tautology if all the statement comes false or in the proposition proposition in a proposition if all the statement in the proposition statement if it comes it if it is always false then then it is called as contradiction so contradictions has only the false value in the truth table the next type is contingency contingency is a proposition that contains the values which are the combination of false and true so in a table in a truth table if you get both zeros and ones in a in in, a, in an order that then this is termed as contingency satisfiable situation satisfiable a boolean expressions is called satisfiable if amongst the truth value there is there exists at least one so if there is a truth table and if you have one in that the output comes as one at least one one then we can say that is satisfiable proposition unsatisfiable other than one if all zero comes then it is unsatisfied a boolean expression is called unsatisfiable if all its truth values zero are are zero zero means false the contradictions is an unsatisfiable expression premise premise it is a proposition from which a conclusion is drawn if you deduce some conclusion from that it is called premise sci log sci lo lo zism sci lo zism it is a form of logical reasoning in which the logical conclusion is drawn from two premises 
with the help of that promises, if two or three promises, if you do the deduce a the conclusion, then it is called silogism. The premises share a common element called middle term. So let us take an example of this silogism. So let the statement be P equals to uh, all fruits are green. Statement Q, statement Q, orange is a fruit, orange is a fruit. Third statement R, third statement orange is green. Now based on this three statement, if I deduce the statement that is with the help of this two statement, if I deduce the statement orange is green, that means this statement is called silogism. Okay, that is called silogism. The next term is the chain rule. It states that two condition of form. P implies Q. P implies Q. So in the previous connectives we have learned that P implies Q and Q implies Q implies P. Then third statement that is then we can say P implies Sorry, this is Q implies R. Okay, now we can say that in the, with the help of the chain rule, we can say that P implies Q. P implies uh, R. That means we are relating this and this. We are just omitting R. This is the chain rule. So, let us take an example. Let P. P is a statement. So, you are taking a statement P that is if you study, then you pass an examination. Q, if you pass the exam, you get a job. P employs R, if you study, you get a job. So, with the help of that two statement, you are getting the third statement, that is P employs R. So, this type of statement is the chain statement. The next type is modus ponens. ponens. It states that whether in the condition, whenever in a condition the antecedents is true, the consequence will be true. If antecedent is true, then consequence. Antecedent means the first part of the thing. For example, let P, the car tire got punctured and Q the car could not move. So, first statement is that the car tire got punctured and the second statement is the car could not move. So, if the condition P implies Q is true, then P is true, then Q will be true. Here, P is antecedent and Q is consequence. So, if the car tire got punctured, then the car could not move. And P is true, the car tire got punctured and Q, Q will be true, the car could not move. So, we will be keeping till here. In our next class, I will be doing the continuing with the chapter and I have given the PDF version of this part also. So, you just go through it. Thank you.